Hey, and welcome to this video from Joomlashack. I'm going to give you a getting started guide to JCal Pro, which is the best Joomla calendar around. If you want to show events on your website for people to find and browse, then JCal Pro is a really excellent events calendar. You can take your events that you create or that your users create, and you can show them in a really stylish calendar. In this example, I'm going to start with JCal Pro installed on a brand new Joomla site. The main part of JCal Pro is under components and JCal Pro. You can see the button to add an event. You can create categories, locations, registrations, and other items inside here. But the first thing I'm going to do is show the calendar on the front of my site. And to do that, I need to make a menu link. So I'm going to go to Menus, Main Menu, Add New Menu Item, and the menu title is going to be Calendar. When it comes to the menu item type, I'm going to choose JCal Pro and Monthly View. This is the normal calendar view that most people think of when they think about a calendar. I'll click the Save button, and I'll go to the front of the site. And now I have a calendar link on the right side. If I click on it, it shows me my JCal Pro calendar. At the moment, there are no events available, but we can go and fix that. Back in the admin area of my Joomla site, I'll close the menu link, and I'll go to Components, JCal Pro, and I'm going to click Add an Event. So the title of this first event is going to be My First JCal Pro Event. I'm going to skip over the location for now, but you can create a location for your events and show them on a Google Map. I will add a quick description for the event. And over on the right-hand side, I'm going to choose a category. It's set to published by default. And the key thing I'll need to do is click on the event date tab and choose when the event is going to take place. It's the 26th of the month at the moment. I'm going to choose to have the event a couple of days in the future. If this is a regular event, then you can choose a repeat method. So this event will repeat daily, weekly, monthly, or even yearly. I'll click on Save for my new event. And if I go to the front of the site, I can refresh the page. And there is my first JCal Pro event if I click through, I'll be able to see some more specific details about the event. There's a lot more I can add from the location to photos, to custom fields, to registrations. But this is just a getting started video about JCal Pro for now. If you look across the top of the screen, you'll see different ways to view the calendar that you have on your site. There's the month view. There's a flat view, which will show all of the events in a single column. There's a week view. And you can also view a single day as well. You can create the events from the admin area of your Joomla site like we've done. However, if you want to make your calendar an interactive experience for your users, you can go to Menus, Main Menu, Add New Menu Item. And under JCal Pro, you can give people an Add New Event option. This is probably best done for registered users. So under the Access option on the right-hand side, 
I'm going to choose registered here so that only logged in users can create events. But now, if any of the users on my site log in, they're going to see a create events link on the right hand side so they can add their own events to this calendar. Here we go. I've logged in. I'm going to click on create events. And now I have almost all the options that we had in the admin area on the front of the site. Let me call this my second jcal pro event and in this case i'll set it for the 29th one day after the event i created earlier in this video oh i clicked save but i didn't choose a category for the event okay there we go marked in red it's telling me i need a category let me try that one more time Okay, there we go. My second jcal pro event is sitting alongside the first. So this is a getting started guide to jcal pro. We have a lot more videos about jcal pro on this channel. You'll notice that at the top, it says that a notification was sent to the calendar moderators. If you want, you can approve or disapprove these events and you can set up certain users as moderators for the events on your calendar. Overall, jcal Pro is enormously flexible. In this video, we've shown you how to get started, but there's a lot more to discover. Head over to Joomla Shack and the jcal Pro page and take jcal Pro for a test drive. It really is the best Joomla calendar extension.